welcome to the National Secretariat of UPN here in Western Province, in Mongo to be specific. Uh, we want to welcome uh, the members of the public and uh, the fourth estate, which is the media, to this very important uh, press briefing. And through you, we hope to communicate the mission. This press briefing is going to be addressed by our national chairman, uh, Mr. Gilbert Swaniso, and it's going to talk about various uh, issues that have risen from recent statements which have been made by the so-called candidates of uh, Western province. Uh, Mr. Gilbert Swaniso, floor is yours. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I also want to welcome you, the media, and my fellow youths who are here. Uh, it's a good day today, it's Monday. Uh, we want first of all to thank the, the youth of Barossa and Western Province for the conduct they behave themselves uh, during Komboka, after, and also how they will come with the head of state, with Akainje Chilema. We want to thank the people of Barossa, especially here in Mungo district, for how you responded, uh, showing our Republican president that for sure. This is his province, this is his village, it's part of us. We really want to thank uh, our fellow youths, the women, everybody. And also even uh, the BRI and the, the church uh, for that welcome we have shown to the head of state. But today is another day also to us as the youth of UPND, particularly here in Western province, where there has been a lot of activities or statements from our colleagues, the youth called Barot Youth Alliance Nationalist Activists, who have been insulting, giving us threatening uh, uh, words. I think today is a day where I need to respond very critically to them to understand that UPND has come to this power to deliver the promises we made the people of Zambia. And that promises the Dakaende Chilema is very committed. And this province is one of the provinces the Dakaende Chilema wants to see that there is development. And all of us who are aware that there are many things we are demanding in terms of education, health, infrastructure, in terms of road transport, I think all of us will know what we want as a province. Now, my colleagues three, four, five days ago, they give us a warning to give back to the Swaniso and the youth. I want to make it very clear to them that we have fought battles in many ways as the National Youth Chairman. But I'm not going to allow and agree few individuals within this region to respect the head of state by insulting him and is trying to untwist him and demanding things which we will never, never at any podium to promise the people of Western Province that there will be secession in this country. When we were in opposition, we were used, we were being attacked by the same people that when a guy in the team had become the president, he would demarcate this country, God said. And today, a few individuals, Boris Muziva and the team, who ate money with the PF, all of us we know, they were supporting PF. They were eating with the PM. They were eating with the Bugatti. They were eating with the Edgar Chagwaluma. Today, you want to speak the loudest when we were fighting with the UPN Jews here in this province to put our kind of sector. You are not near. You are not even near. But today, you try to untwist with a few individuals to untwist this government of UPN as a national youth chairman. Even in my own capacity, because I supported this president and supported the UPND day in and day out. We were arrested, we were tortured. You are not there. We are not going to allow and agree with you with that nonsense, which every day you woke up and then talk about secession. We are not going to agree with you. The only credit I kind of have to the people of Western Province is development, which all of us we are demanding from him in a respective way. And even him, he knows because if there's somebody who have traveled this province, it is Agaende Chile. More than even me as Gilbert Riswanis, he knows this area very well in all corners. Ours as leaders in the party and government is to demand development. Like other provinces, 
which they are doing. We are not special. We are one people, all of us. So these few individual youths who would want to make statement of threatening, you are wasting your time, we are equal to the task with you. This one I want to tell you we are equal for that task. And we are not going to agree with you. We are not going to agree with you to impeach the president or to demand certain things that are there. The UPND youths, even as we are waiting, you wait for that development. If you don't want, then stay. If you want, continue. But remember that this government of UPND, one of the promises we made the people of Zambia, that there will be law and order in this nation. There is law and order in this nation. So you continue with that kind of talking. You are inviting yourself and the police should move in. Because even me, when I make any error or any mistake, I'm being arrested. My fellow youths in UP end are being arrested day in and day out. How special are you? If you want to be physically, we are there. I'm in Mungu today and I'll still be in Mungu until that day you are going to attack me. I want to show you that Muziva and your team that you are nothing. We want to tell you that. We have given you time, we have spoken everything, we have been watching you, but not this time. I'm not going to agree with you. And I want to tell you this and tell everybody, no one will do secession. Under UPND, there is no secession. Go and find some other people to do that. My message is very clear, you can help me, but this is a fact that under UPND government, there will be no secession. And even this dialogue, want to talk to it. If you want to use the issue of violence and force, UPN is not ready. And I'm appealing to my leaders in government that don't tolerate such thing now. If people have got issues, there's a right channel to address this, this matter nicely. In a multiple way, we sit down and discuss about these issues. But remember, we never promised anybody. The only promise you can make is to deliver the people of Canada. Free education. Employment the young people. Empowerment the young people. These are the things that can the chairman you can promise the people of Zambia, particularly also this, this province. We never. I know people want to massage these things, but not now. We are committed as leaders of UPND, especially for me as a national youth chairman, who is leading a group which is angry and hungry. So don't push me on the corner, because I'll push you in the corner also. This message goes to you, Morris, and your team. I'm not going to here to, uh, to, to massage you and your team, no. We are here to bring development. If you don't want, if you want jail, you go to jail, it's up to you. You choose what is right. So we are here to bring development. We are not going to agree with that nonsense you are doing with your team. If you want to push on the corner, I'll push on the corner. And we are committed to that. And also, I want to appeal, and even to talk to Emmanuel Mwamba, you are for this province. Did you give them the Western province I'm talking about today? Why do you want to chat on things which you know can bring confusion in the country? You, Emmanuel Mwamba, you're a PSA. Yeah. Your president, Edgar, why didn't you give him? Give the people of Western province. You want to turn around and do these guys over foolish things. I'm not going to agree with you. My message is very clear and very hard on you. So you want to promote something which is not good, it will be on you also. So that's such understanding. Let's do our politics. Go to people, they vote for you. UPND has nothing to do with the session. Forget, I've spoken as a national youth chairman. Forget, forget about it. You can choose another political party who will do that for you. We'll see if they're going to give you. The people of Western Province, collective all of us, let's demand President Kainde Chilema to give us development in this province. There I can agree with you. You can talk whatever you want to talk. You can attack Kainde in all corners if you're demanding development. But dividing the country, we are not going to agree with you. We have 10 provinces, all of us, we are equal, all of us. And the Kainda has the mandate to share the cake of this country in all the provinces. We are not special. And we don't want you to bring confusion on Akainda Chilema. Already has a lot of challenges. And then you want to bring a selfish interest. Because I've been benefiting using the same thing. This one I'm saying not to. That's why I'm appealing even to the police that there's law and order in this nation. If we can be arrested as UPND, some of politicians are being arrested. How special are they? So I think this is a message, a very clear message. And we are committed as the youth of UPND. The last one I'm appealing to the UPND youth in here, in Western Province. Somebody insults the president and anyone wants to know. Then I'll remove you from the position. That is your job. 
you can't allow some individuals insulting the president when you are there. The message is very clear here. We have tolerated this nonsense for so long, but not, not now. We have got another road to go now. Because I've seen, the more we keep quiet, because when a lie is spoken four or five times, comes the truth. So now we are set stopping you. You want to bring a lie, we'll stop you here. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. I think we have now come to 